Our top story this morning, new overnight, a deadly shooting after a concealed carry license holder opens fire on someone opening fire on him. Yeah, I heard it through the pipeline. Rulin' about how they gon' rob me in the night time. For real, they just waiting for the right time. But guess what? You never catch me without mine. Without mine. 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 You never catch me without mine. Yo, what's good, man? This your boy Smoke Tales. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you got it on you because I got it on me. You know how we getting down on this end. Fight over ice cream led to shooting near Torchlight Parade route. A fight started over ice cream in the downtown Spokane convenience store during the Armed Forces Torchlight Parade on Saturday. Ended with one arrested and two people in the hospital. The parade was paused and rerouted at 9 p.m. after police received reports of a shooting inside a Spokane convenience store on Washington Street and Sprague Avenue. Police arrested Charles Michael, 32 years old, on suspicion of first degree assault after he received treatment at a local hospital for a head wound due to a shooting. The convenience store owner told police he saw two people leave the freezer door open for too long without buying anything, so he told them to close the door and leave if they weren't going to purchase the ice cream. One of them, Ashley, was upset and threw a container of ice cream on the floor. The store owner grabbed Ashley and attempted to guide her out of the store when she and Michael started punching the store owner and beating him. His son, Ryan, emerged from the back of the store and yelled out that Michael had a knife. The store owner attempted to intervene. He saw Michael hold up a large knife during the scuffle, so Ryan tried to stop Michael. As they were punching each other, Ryan's Glock 17 he carries for protection accidentally discharged, grazing the side of Michael's head and hitting Ashley. Damn, getting burnt over some ice cream? That must have been Bluebell. A breaking at this hour tonight, two people sent to a hospital this evening after a shooting in downtown Spokane. It happened during tonight's Armed Forces Torchlight Parade. Thanks for staying up late with us tonight on Crem 2 News at 11. I'm Cody Proctor. According to Spokane Police, the suspect's been detained, and here's what we know right now. This is a live look at the scene at this very moment. Spokane Police saying the shooting happened in the area of Sprague and Washington in downtown just before 9 tonight. Police say that shooting doesn't appear to have anything to do with tonight's parade. The parade was rerouted because of the shooting, but continued on. And this is a developing story. We'll continue to keep you updated as we learn more tonight. But already a statement has been released by Mayor Lisa Brown tonight about the shooting, saying in part, quote, violence like this should never happen, especially near a place where families are gathered to enjoy a community event, end quote. Now, as we mentioned, this is a developing story tonight, and we'll continue to update you both on air and online as we learn more. So be sure to stay with us here on Crem 2 News, both on air and online tonight. New details in an argument that left one person shot and another hurt in Spokane Saturday night. New court documents reveal a downtown Spokane convenience store employee shot at a customer during a physical fight with the owner and employees. Police are still getting more information about what led to the fight in the first place. Bronte Zorotsky is live downtown tonight with the new details. Well, one downtown business owner tells me that she is shocked and scared to see that something like this could have happened here downtown. And all of this happening while a parade was happening as well. I just was shocked to see the news. The downtown business owner shocked to see that a shooting had taken place at the same time as a major Spokane event. New court documents show what led to one person getting shot and another injured. They show that two people had gone into PM Jacoy's looking for ice cream. The store owner had noticed they were staying too long and went to kick them out. The owner claims the woman then threw her ice cream onto the floor and things escalated into violence. The defendant, Charles Michael, who was at the store with that woman, is accused of pulling out a large knife on the owner. That was when the owner's son and another employee came to help with a pipe and a handgun. The employee holding the gun claims it went off accidentally while trying to break up a fight between the two in the store, the owner, and employees, grazing the woman's head. 
Michael and that woman were taken to the hospital for their injuries while Michael was arrested for assault. While the owner of Soulful Soup says she's never had an incident like this happen to her, she and her employees are prepared for similar situations. We have lots of pepper spray is our thing, um, and I make sure my staff knows that it, take it out and use it if you feel like you need to use it. And we don't yet know if the store's owner or the woman that was shot will face any charges. Charles Michael will be in court at the end of this month. His bail is currently set for 75000 Live in Spokane, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. Yeah, man, so you see how they getting down out there in Spokane? They out there getting shot over ice cream. Like, for real? You finna go through all that? Take penitentiary chances for some goddamn ice cream? You must have then blowed your mind, pulling out knives and throwing shit on the floor. Boy, you doing too much. I don't know where they do that type of shit at, right? Grown ass around here going through all that over some ice cream. You lucky you ain't pulled that shit on the right person and your ass would have got hit up and it wouldn't have been by mistake. Out there in Spokane, they on some bum shit. But cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Man, this your boy Smoke Tails, man. Until next time, you never catch me without mine. Without mine, 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 you never catch me without mine.